Peace and blessings, everybody. Peace and blessings. It is Sasha Campbell Garbutt. I'm coming to you today more as the Closet MC, but I am still and always will be your health and personal freedom emphasis on personal freedom coach. There is a lot going on out there, and I just want to stop and say the human in me recognizes the human in you, and the God in me recognizes the God in you. And I'm asking each and every one of you guys to channel more of your God energy. Uh, channeling means choice. So I'm asking you to choose to channel your energy in a way that's going to help yourself in the collective good. I am very aware of the times that we are in, but I'm also aware that the, of the times that we are in and we can change them in a way that looks different than any way because we have to execute things in a different way. So how do I channel my energy in times like this? Um, I'm a writer and I wrote a poem just now and I'm going to share it with you guys and it is called The Trial, The Trial. Yes, I can breathe even though COVID and cops try to steal my breath. Those two C's choose not to see me because if they did, their guilt is duly noted. The trial is humanity versus principalities whose agenda is to kill, steal, and destroy. Humanity now says you've kept that agenda far too long. A new agenda is ready to be deployed. But back to your trial and error. You thought this time would be the same. We the people have finally taken on way too much. And yes, you are the ones to blame. But the prosecution quickly reminded us that we have some culpability in all of this. They reminded us that somewhere, sometime, long ago, we agreed to all this bullshit. We forgot our greatness. We forgot we are gods. We came here to execute heaven on earth. But since we forgot and relinquished our throne, we are now at great, great odds. We are a loving people, but sometimes love is blind. We let idle thoughts creep in, started messing with lower dimensions in kind. We switched our birthright of power and love with their childish game of ego and competition. And when we said game's over and asked for it back, they laughed and said, nope, we're gonna keep it. And it created a division. We spent thousands of years trying to regain our crown and glory. We exerted immeasurable pounds of wit and abuse, spent a lot of physical energy. In an attempt to fit in, to a world we never really created. They took our gifts and made it our grief, and now our dreams seem deflated. The one thing we forgot is in all the years of our conditioning is that the war is of spirit and mind and not of the money and the physical kind. The way to win is to go within. Those demons don't care about bloodshed. Because we did, because they didn't get their, excuse me, those demons don't care about those bloodshed. We must reclaim our divine place now. That's what Luke 17, 21 said. A phoenix rises from principalities that have burned. Don't worry about external, that stuff will return. But for this switch to not happen again, we need to reclaim our minds and recharge our hearts. They've always been our friend. We aren't just humans. Remember, we are the universe. Remember, therefore, it's time to live outside the confines of race and creed and gender. This does not mean it's time to be quiet. There is a time and place for everything. Picketing and voting for a different side of the same coin is not the change we need to bring. Protests, looting, and shooting only gets temporary attention. Like a child who throws a fit because they didn't get their way, we depend on their actions to make everything okay. 
wear a mask, stay inside. Bad cops get battered. You shouldn't provoke their nasty side. Complacency and compliancy is a killer. God damn, don't you get it? The only way to win is within. Give them a taste of their own sin. Master your thoughts. Change your beliefs. Activate the magic of the cosmos at the very least. Savior complex got us stuck. There is nothing coming to save us. That's because we were born with the power of Christ and what's him, what's in him is in us. The jury has met. The verdict is in. P Principality guilty of original sin. We can no longer roam too far from our tree because if we do, again, they will get free. We can breathe. Make sure to use your breath. Call on your ancestors. Do it for the kids you've never met. But whatever you do, this time you have to pick a side. Breathe again and leave, live different or hold your breath and die. Shout out to all the people who have lost their life in any struggle, struggle, particularly those of outside principalities. In order for us to win, we have to go within. We have to fight and beat them at a battle they did not begin. And that's of spirit and mind. And I know we can do it because we have to leave a new path for those we have never met, those that will come after us. Remember, as you were born, so was the solution. If you need any guidance or help during this time, holla at you, girl. I am here to serve. But whatever you do, don't go back to playing the same record because it's got to scratch. We got to do things different. Peace and infinite blessings to you. Stay safe and stay aware, but be unafraid. <laughs>